Wow, y'all. Unbelievable. Just a short, quick message. It's my day off, and I'm laying up here watching the news. I cannot believe this. Another earthquake done hit Turkey and Syria. Now, you know, just 15 days ago, an earthquake hit Turkey and Syria. And so far, the death toll is like 44,000. Now, I just watched on the news. Actually, I saw it last night, but I thought I was dreaming. But I just saw it again today on the news, y'all. Turkey has been hit with another earthquake in the same area. Now, if that don't tell you that God is on his way back and he means business. Anyone that is watching this video, I just ask you right now, if you don't know the Lord, if you don't know how to know the Lord, if you've never been exposed to the Lord, just say right now, Lord, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe that Jesus died on the cross and he is a true and living son that died and rose again as our Savior. Lord, have mercy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I accept you into my heart. Just repeat that right now and let God come into your heart. We don't have any more time. I just watched another uh, video from someone that I watch. This amazing lady, and she has an amazing voice. I'm not going to say her channel. Now, if she sees this, which I hope she does, she just spoke on that this morning saying God is on his way back. And I responded, and I said, thank you so much for touching on that. I said, he already here. <laughs> Boy, if I tell you, total confirmation. Get your houses in order, children of God. Get your houses in order. If you need to repent, repent right now. Say, Lord, forgive me of my sins. And let the Lord forgive you. And don't go back into those sins. If you are doing sins or have like a drug or alcohol addiction or a food addiction or stealing addiction or uh, watching TV addiction, whatever it is addiction, just any addiction, just anything that is wrong to do it. Or too much or whatever it is. You get my point. Go ahead right now and just, just say, Lord, I ask you to come into my heart and heal me of this. And help me with this Holy Spirit. Because it says in the word of God that you will be tempted. Even Jesus was tempted. We know this when he went up for the 40 days. And Satan tempted him. <clears throat> you know, and he wasn't eating. He was saying, well, oh, well, you know, if you or oh, you know, the son of God didn't throw yourself down. Or I'm going to give you all these kingdoms. And I give you bread. You're hungry and all that. So even Jesus was tempted. But it says right now, you know, in the Bible. Look up, look it up for yourself. That if you are tempted. And when, if and when you are tempted. God will give you an out of that temptation. And if it's too much to bear. So just call on Christ right now, y'all. There's so much stuff going on in this world so much death i've experienced it up close front and personal for those of you that know me that been with this channel a while my daughter my only living child passed away two years ago and this month is her, her well actually her birthday is in eight days she'll be 36 today so she's having her birthday in heaven again and if i tell you lord have mercy Love on your family every day. God will leave you the Holy Spirit, though. When you think you can't bear something, God will send you the Holy Spirit to bear it. He's tr truly done that for me. But get your houses in order. Because God is on, he's, he's not only on his way back, he's already here. Handle your business. Clean it up. Ask God to help you. Release you from the sins that you can or cannot control. And um, then go out there and share with others. Your neighbors, your co-workers, grocery store people. Wherever you go in your life, share with others. Just tell them who the Lord is. And once again, I have to say, if you don't know the Lord, just say, Lord, I trust and believe you. Come into my heart. Save me. Save my soul. And he will. But anyways, um... I'm in here making some uh, neck bone soup. 
Anybody out there know anything about neck bone soup? <laughs> I started doing like a weight loss thing. Uh, but I, of course, I started adding more ingredients to the soup. Because <laughs> that's just me, okay? I needed some more flavor in my food. But, but y'all, that neck bone soup. You know, we all know that neck bones don't have a lot of meat on them. So that's why I feel like it's healthy too. Because those neck, neck bones don't have a lot of meat. So I feel like, okay, Lord, it's mostly vegetables. But actually, I'm losing a lot of weight. Like, normally my face is like, <laughs> you know, big and round. But I'm seeing a little jawline coming in from the neck bone suit. But anyways, I used to do a lot of cooking videos. But um, I actually made one, but it got deleted because my iPad said that uh, there was no more storage space, free up space, and when I clicked on the free up the space, it deleted my cooking video. So, before my daughter passed away two years ago, I used to do a whole lot of cooking videos. I mean, literally, I was in that kitchen all the time, making all kind of stuff. You know, um, you can scroll down if you're a new channel watcher. You can scroll down and watch like my old videos. I was in that kitchen making some stuff. But I'm get I, I I'm getting back into it. Got some stuff in my instant pot right now. Like I said, neck bone soup. But anyways, get your house in order. I just had to get get give this public information, public service announcement, whatever you want to call it. All right, everybody, enjoy your day. Powerful blessings coming. Stay focused. Stay in faith. Be quiet. Be still, wait on the Lord, and let the Lord be your strength. And I love you.